one of series five of Master League Story Mode. So the last episode ended with a dramatic game against huge rivals Manchester United. We managed to claw the tool draw in the end. It could have easily been a very different story. We went two goals down very quickly, but we showed great spirit. We fought back and today I would just like a nice, relaxed, confident win filled episode. That's all I'm after. We've got Marseille in a very important Champions League game and then Huddersfield in the league. And we do start away from home in France, so an away goal would be absolutely fine for us, I think. Take them back to Anfield and then finish them off there. Then Huddersfield a few days later. Um, yeah, just two good wins, please. I don't think we need to uh, mess around here. Let's just be decisive. Um, oh, Mane out. Interesting. Who do we play? <sighs> hmm. Could play Sessegnon, play Moreno at left back. Could start the Ox out there, but he's not ideal. Could start an upward arrow Mateta in the centre, play Dybala on the wing. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. Jean-Philippe's got goals. Uh, Naby Keita downward arrow, but we'll leave that. And Alisson is on a downward arrow. But we've only got Karius on the bench, also on a downward arrow. I think we'll leave that. And take a look at Marseille, Clinton and G up top, Pace Merchant, Thovan on the right, he is the danger man in this side, Luis Gustavo, defensive mid, they've still got Mendy, obviously this is Bielsa going up against one of his old sides, so that adds a little bit of excitement to this matchup, let's get into it. So this might be a bittersweet return for Bielsa to Marseille. It's certainly the club in his career that sort of uh, caused a lot of what people perceive him as. Uh, he came in, I think it was 2014-15 season, started very, very strongly with Marseille. Uh, first half of the season, I think they were top of the table, but they ended up finishing only fourth. And that's sort of where the belief that Bielsa pushes his sides too much during the season. They can't last the full length of time, the full length of the season, and they fade away. And the next season, he had some arguments with the management. I can't remember what it was about, but he very quickly resigned. Yeah, I think he resigned. He wasn't fired, but he, he left anyway. And, and those two things really have sort of followed him. I don't know, you know, those attributes did pop up at other clubs as well, but I feel like those are what he's been remembered for. So this will have an extra special place in his heart as he has gone on in the last few years to prove his doubters wrong. And uh, a Champions League run, getting Liverpool to a final, if not a win, would be uh, the cherry on top of that, proving people wrong cake. Right, let's do this. Tovan, that's nice. Sessegnon still with him. Tovan cuts inside. Sanson into a G. Pavard's there. Good save. Pavard, lovely ball into Naby Keita. Now Trent. Puts the ball over the top, looking for Milinkovic. Savage. Oh, Sanson has to do well. We haven't had many chances in this first 24 minutes. That is about the closest we've got. Trent with the corner here. Mateta will battle with Ocampos. Ocampos does well. It's out to Ryan Sessegnon. He's going to push Saar down the line. That's well worked. Oh, and Mateta heads wide. Unlucky. Liverpool's starting to turn the screw here. We know we just need one goal. Ideally, one without reply. Sessegnon did well here. Saar just hesitated. Put it onto the head of Mateta. And it's not far wide. Oh, Sessegnon. Amazing play there. Dybala slips in Mateta into the box. Back out to Ryan Sessegnon. He's got time now to pick a cross out. Looking for Mo Salah at the far post. It's well cut out. But Trent loses out to Gustavo. That's poor. Oh, that's nicely worked. Slight element of fortune to it. But Bernardo says, not today, Florian. That is my ball. Continue forward here. It's still bombing on now. All over the top, looking for Savage. Oh, what a ball. <sighs> Incredible defending there. Great surging run from Bernardo. Just couldn't quite find Savage on the end of it. Clinton and G nearly found a way through there. That's awful. Clearance. Oh, and G off the post. Wow. Really, really poor there from Bernardo. We were let off. Fabinho, that's a great ball into Mo Salah to take on Benjamin Mendy and he's found a little pocket of space here to drive into. Sanson with him. Salah will cut inside. Still Mo Salah. Mendy just about recovers. Just a minute left in this first half. Can we find something late on? 
Naby Keita under pressure is beaten to it by Gustavo and that will be nil-nil at half time and Marseille have been tough. No more than half chances for either side. Marseille have had the only shot on target of the game. We've only had one shot ourselves. We're really struggling here. I don't know if Marseille have somehow got back inside Marcelo Bielsa's head and he's made some poor decisions. Maybe Mateta up top's the wrong option with Dybala scoring so freely. We might have to change that in a minute. Mendy now out wide. You know, he's got a good delivery and he steps inside far too easily there. Clinton and G shot. Blocked by Bernardo. Instant chance there for Marseille. Smart throw back to Naby Keita. He'll turn, play it out to Dybala. Inside to Sessignon. That's well worked. Dybala's ball in's a good one. Mateta jumps for it. Seemed to pull away from the header though. It thought he'd be able to get to that. Clearly not. Slipped cleverly into Jermaine. Sessignon's across, as is Pavard now. Campos back to Mendy. This is dangerous. A Campos, good touch. It's into the box. Sessignon's up with Sanson. No, no, get it away. Bloody hell. Still not properly cleared though. But Campos, they're piling on the pressure here. Trent just does the right thing to take the pressure off. That's really clever from Mo Salah. Now Mateta, ah, oh, just dispossessed as the counter-attack was about to swing into action. So I don't necessarily think Mateta's done anything wrong, but he's substituted here. Patino and the Ox will come on, just to add something a little different. Cater looking a bit leggy today, he'll come off. We really do need to score. Nil-nil's not the end of the world, but an away goal is exactly what we want. Klassen, we know he's a good player. We've played with him in the past. That's well worked. Oh, it's a very good goal. Oh, the ex-Everton man embarrassing us there. I was just thinking to myself, he's got no pace. He's got no pace. But what I forgot is he's got an incredible craft in those boots. And that is a very nice finish. And that is not what we needed here at all. Salah needs to get involved. Ball into the Ox isn't his best. The Ox finds a way out. Trent now into Dybala, turns inside. Oh, he's done well. Oh, shot is blocked by Savage. And we can't find the finish. Oh, Klaassen will get to that first. The cutback is on. Pavard with a good foot in. Still not dealt with. That's a good ball. Jermaine wide. Oh, we can't have him score two. Come on. The Ox back to Trent. Now to Savage. We've not seen much of him. Oh, it's a good ball. It's a great finish, Dybala. Finally, they link up. Suspicions of offside there, thankfully. I think we managed to just about avoid it. It was neatly worked. He just needs to get Savage on the ball. And it's a very easy ball. I don't know what the uh, Marseille defender was doing. The number three just stepped away from Dybala. We need Dybala in the centre. That is the problem that Mateta has. Is This is where Dybala is going to do his best work. But the defending there just opened up. Awful. Good finish from the Argentinian. And there we are. That's the away goal we wanted. Another one now would be quite special. Sessignon's had a great game defensively. And he'll keep bombing on here as Vitinho can play it down the line into the young Englishman. He's got Mo Salah to aim for in the box. The Ox is there as well. Oh, and they do clear. But Trent will pick it up. That's a canter here. Inside of Mendy, no, Mendy does well. Well, Jermaine's done very well there. Now Jermaine back to Sanson. No, no, no. Oh, get it away. Oh, how have you not cleared that? How have you not cleared that? Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. No. <laughs> oh, so many chances to get that clear. Bernardo there should have got it away. No. And then, ah, oh, falls to Klassen. This has not been our game. We've been awful and we've been punished there. Pavard does really well to keep that in. Trent now into Savic. Ah, oh, just takes a nasty touch there. Salah will keep it alive though. No, Savic, so fucking slow. Right, that's not a good performance at all. At least we got the away goal. That's, that's a bonus. If we can keep things tight at Anfield... And we can still give ourselves a good chance. But only two shots over the 90 minutes on target. It's just not good enough. Poor from Mateta. A 4.5 from him. Salah with only a 5 as well. Salah's having a bit of a difficult season. Certainly not free scoring as he has been. But we know he's been struggling for a while. Liverpool's problem before we joined was lack of goals. We've added Dybala. That has helped. But Salah has dried up in the goal department.
So not the ideal start. And Leeds, oh, Leeds in the knockout against Real Madrid. Losing 1-0 at Ellen Road. Oh, hopefully they can come back when they go to Spain. We'll always be rooting for them. Of course we will. Right, let's put that out of our minds and let's get into what should be a win in the league. We dispatched them with relative ease in the FA Cup. Can we do the same back in the Premier League? Let's go and take a look at the sides today. So everyone looking good for us. Don't think there's any changes needed there. Should Diop be in the side? Is Pavard a strong enough centre-back? Is his passing good enough to make up for his lack of physicality? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. With both Sessegnon and Pavard, we're going for style over substance, maybe. That could be an issue for us, but we're going to stick with it. Um, they've got Mounier up top and uh, Sobi out on the left. That's a dangerous combo. They've got a 67 rated keeper. Let's give him a good old battle, shall we? Let's go. So we're back in Huddersfield. Last time we were here, it was snowing and it was the FA Cup and we, uh, yeah, we dispatched them with relative ease let's do that again shall we i can't handle the stress as i said i just wanted a nice easy episode nice quick easy episode a couple of good wins it's not started well let's finish well oh mounier's away from pavard we know mounier's got power and pace to burn oh he's done oh come off it come off it shit <laughs> way too easy what is sessignon doing here Bernardo too slow to catch up. Sessignon just drawn in by the number 21, leaving the number four at the far post to tap in. And Liverpool's problems go from bad to worse. Savage now. Can he get those legs stretched through the centre? Naby Keita, good work. Into Dybala on the right. Oh, test the keeper. Corner here for Huddersfield. It's Gaga over this one. Oh, Williams has made a good run. No, no! 2-0, I can't believe it. Uh, <laughs> who was that? Savage there, just allowed his man to drift into space. An easy, uncontested header in the end for him. And now we've got a mountain to climb here in Huddersfield. Oh, but that's nice. That's a good ball into Savage. No. Good defending. Oh, what a ball into Mounier. What a first touch. Oh, Pavard. Jesus Christ, man. Time that late. He did enough. Mane, good ball into Savic. Oh, nice little no-look pass into Sadio Mane. And now he's got space to run away from Stankovic. Only really Dybala to look for. Now Mo Salah's made a late run. <sighs> Couldn't get there ahead of the Huddersfield defender. Savic, back to Keita. Edge of the box. Well, line one up. Forces a good save. Had to hit that there, given the time and space to do so. Salah battles well. Into Sadio Mane. Can't get any connection on that header. Half an hour gone and we are struggling to score even one here and we need two. Savage, that's nice. Oh, it's going to fall to Dybala. Oh, had time. <laughs> had so much time, Paolo. Oh, could have taken a touch. Had a cup of tea and then finished that off. We're panicking now. We need a goal in this half. Don't want to have to score three in the second half to win this. Oh, Mane evades the attention there. Well, into Dybala. Steps away from Congolo. Looks for the lob. That's the wrong option. Savic is there still. Puts the ball in. Fuck. That was our big chance in this half, I expect. Oh, no. And Sobi's played through. It's away from Fabinho. He's making ground on him well. Can't get the tackle in. Now Mounier. This is dangerous here. Pavard and Keita win it back. No foul, says the ref. And there's a little bit of time left here. Oh, it's a great ball through into Sadio Mane. It's going to have to go alone here. Looks to open up. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Lots of chances missed now. This is getting pretty desperate. 40 minutes on the clock. That had to be. Had to be the first goal. Oh, my God. Chances happened. We just couldn't put any of them away. And now we've got a huge amount to do in the second half. This is not good. Salah inside to Trent. We'll find Mo Salah again. He's got Dybala and Naby Keita in the box. Mo Salah now. Through on goal. Looks for Dybala. Lovely footing by Concolo. Oh, it looks so simple. Maybe too obvious there. Fabinho now. Ball through to Paolo Dybala as he stayed on side here. He has. One on one with the keeper. <gasps> no. What is going on? 
Oh, lovely ball through to Mounier. The reverse pass has caught us out there, and that is three, and that is game over. I just can't believe it. I've lost the plot here. I can't. I'm not. I, I just fuck it. Fuck it. How has this happened? Ripped apart there. Huddersfield have been absolutely incredible. And this is our league over, unfortunately. So triple subs here, but we need three in basically no time at all. I don't even why I know I'm fucking bothering. Mateta, lovely ball. And then Naby Keita, first time over the top into Mo Salah. He will at least keep this in. No, he won't. No, he fucking won't. What is going on? What is going on? Mateta, clever ball into the Ox. He's away here. Oxlade Chamberlain will square it to Jean Philippe. Oof, bloody hell, nearly missed it. <laughs> nearly missed it. The two substitutes combining, but surely too little, too late here. Comes the Ox now through the centre. He's looked sharp since coming on. Clever little ball into Gnabby Cater there. And again, we can square it from Ateta. No, that's more like what we've been like in this game. Just fucking toothless. Wrong decision after wrong decision. Oh, and it's a clever quick free kick and a good goal, but fuck me, it means absolutely nothing. Literally the last few seconds. Why are you even celebrating? Gutted, absolutely gutted. 94th minute goal, just to get a consolation second. And that is our league done. League season over. No way we're winning it now. Not a chance in hell. FA Cup and Champions League are our only options now, realistically, for silverware. And Mo Salah's poor performances continue. Savage as well just looks cumbersome when he's not... Having a good game, he really looks bad. He looks really genuinely awful. Uh, Mo Salah just can't seem to find form when we really need him. Mounier was an absolute pest. We knew he would be. Bernardo Pavard couldn't win anything in the air. And that really broke our flow. Uh, so City win. And we're done. Dunzo. Seven points now the gap. Oh, we closed it. We closed it. But that is going to be surely too far. And I don't want to see this. Look at this. Three losses. That is an awful February. Really, really poor. Started with the loss to Manchester City. And, uh, yeah, we dispatched Tottenham. The Leeds game was a bit lucky. Huddersfield, we beat them in the FA Cup. And then they've reversed the score in the league. I mean, pfft, no good at all. Dybala joining up, scoring goals straight away. It's like what we like to see. Look at that third highest average rating ranking. It's a 5.9 with Pavard. That is not a good... So we're conceding a lot of early goals. That is certainly a problem for us. Three before 15 minutes in the game. So complacency, maybe. Uh, Dybala, 28% conversion rate. That's not bad. Savage, 10%. That's poor. Mateta, two for three. Take that. Uh, Pavard, actually pretty good in the air. Good tackles one as well. Bernardo, maybe lower than you'd expect. But no one really standing out as being particularly good. Savage is a bit disappointing. Look at that. No one in the team of the month. That says a lot about our February. And we need to bounce back now as we go into a big derby. A short hop over to Everton. We've got an FA Cup semi-final to come this month. We really, really need to improve our form. Oh, and a nice little 1 million salary budget boost. That's good. To claw some of that back before the end of the season. Looks like next season might be our time to win the league. So we're certainly not going to do it now. Lots of good centre-backs there. Anyway, pfft. Oh, well, let's try and forget this episode ever happened, shall we? I'll see you in a bit.